Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, areas under curves in this session. Uh, let's get started. The thing is, you already know how to do this if you know how to do different, uh, definite integrals. All right. So, all it is is um, when you work out a definite integral between a and a and b, uh, sketching this, it'll look like this. And let's say we put a there and b there. <coughs> Excuse me. The area under the curve is the shaded part between A and B. That's all it is. All right, let's have a look at an example and go from there. So we want to determine the area between the curve Y equals X squared plus 4X minus 1, the X axis, and the lines X equals 1 and X equals 3. Okay, so what we know is that area is integral of, well, between 3 and 1, of x squared plus 4x minus 1 dx. Now guys, with um, whenever you try to find area, the best thing to do is like just draw a quick sketch of um, your function and kind of draw the lines just to see what you're trying to find. Okay, because sometimes you don't know when it's above the y-axis or above the x-axis and that will actually give you different answers. So keep that in mind. So here's the graph of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 1. And there you could um, see what I've done with um, the shaded area between where x equals 1 and x equals 3. So there's x equals 1 and x equals 3. So I'm looking for that uh, blue shaded area right there. So at this point, I need to integrate the function. So integrating the function, I'm going to get x cubed divided by 3 plus 2x squared minus 1x, and all that uh, which calculated between 3 and 1. Okay, now substituting the values in, so I have 3 cubed divided by 3 plus 2 times 3 squared minus 3, all that in a big bracket, minus everything now with 1 wherever x is. So I'm going to get 1 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 1 squared which is 1, and minus 1. Okay. Simplifying this, I'm going to get 72 over 3, take away 4 over 3. So my area uh, under that, the little blue shaded area, is going to be 68 over 3 units squared. All right, let's have a look at another example. Here we go. In this question, we want to determine the shaded area in this diagram, where the function is y equals x squared plus 6x. So we want to calculate the uh, red shaded area inside here. But we need the, the interval that we want to calculate it between. And so it's going to be between 0 and negative 6. Okay, so we're going to work out our integral between 0 and negative 6 for x squared plus 6x dx. So, we integrate the function, we have x cubed over 3, plus 3x three squared, and that's between 0 and negative 6. Calculating on, we have 0 cubed over 3, plus 3 times 0 squared, minus negative 6 cubed, divided by 3, plus 3 times negative 6 squared. Simplifying this, I should get 0 minus 36, so the final answer would be negative 36. Or is it? Because, I mean, it's, it's actually not possible for us to have um, an area in negative, as a negative number. So we, what we almost do is, like, at this point, we actually have to take the absolute value of um, the area. So this actually won't be negative 36. Um, it should actually be positive 36, but the reason we get negative 36 is because it's under the x-axis. So we actually say the area is equal to 36 units squared. Now guys, remember for our course um, that we're, we're doing at the moment is that um, you can actually do this in the calculator, and, and I've actually shown you how to do this in the definite integrals video, so pretty much follow the steps there. Um, what was I going to say? 
it is, you still have to show the integrated function for our course, all right? So you can't just use your calculator to get the answer. Um, so you have to actually integrate the function and show that. Um, the substitution part, you don't really need to show that. You can actually do that in the calculator straight away, okay? That just avoids silly mistakes. All right, guys, that's all for this session. Thanks for watching.